isn't that a problem many of us have not enough usb connections to connect all our solar charge controllers and other gear to a raspberry pi or venus cheeks yeah especially now with all the testing i'm doing with these solar charge controllers i just don't have enough usb ports and this is exactly the topic we want to talk about tonight it is eight it is 9 30 <laughs> and i'm starting a video here in the off-grid garage guys welcome back to another video here in the off-grid garage and you may have seen my last video where i talked about the issues i had with the victron solar charge controllers showing minus one degree celsius and locking up stop charging even we had full sunshine outside and thank you so much for all your comments under this video making suggestions how to test further and also a lot of you guys have actually shared your experience with that it is very strange to read that so many people had almost the same issue at pretty much the same time but some of you have said that this issue may be caused by the non-isolated cables we are using for the communication between solar charge controllers and the raspberry pi to be honest most of my cables here are not isolated see this one is not this one is not this one is not the shunt over here is not isolated i actually have only one original victron isolated usb to ve direct cable yeah there you can see the difference between the plug this is the original cable this one is a self-made do-it-yourself cable and i have made many of these cables when i set up my raspberry pi because the original cable cost around 45 australian dollars while the do-it-yourself cable is around seven to eight dollars so there was a quick decision made and so far i haven't had an issue with these cables but here we are communication problem solar charge controllers freaking out the whole system shuts down not working anymore if this is though related to the non-isolated communication cables i have discussed this with victron in the forum and they have replied and said most likely it is not caused by these cables but they didn't say it is 100 percent not coming from these cables at the end of the day we are using non-isolated cables and we are connecting devices to other devices which each of them have their own power supply and by adding more and more equipment to our systems we can easily create ground loops here which cause all kind of trouble and potentially these problems we don't know and these are the two main problems i want to solve tonight not enough usb ports to connect all our gear to the raspberry pi or venus gx or whatever you have and the non-isolated cables we are using which may cause trouble which may even stop working so what can we do apart from spending a lot of money buying the original victron gear or a quality usb hub where we can plug all our original victron usb to v direct adapters in which then costs additional money well the solution is in my palm it is this little device here so what we have here is a four port usb uart converter with four individual isolated uart ports uh, it has a USB-C port on one side and four individual isolated UART ports on this side. And again here on the PCB we can clearly see the isolation. There's a little gap to make it really obvious that this is an isolated board. And you can see these optocouplers here. They sit on top of this little gap to symbolize the isolation. And we also have the main controller here on the board. So this device uses only one USB port to connect four devices at once. So here already with this little device we are solving the issue of not having enough USB ports on the Raspberry Pi. Because the Pi only comes with four USB ports as per default. And the Servo GX actually has only two working USB ports. Because I think the, the one next to the HDMI is only a power connection for a display. So this one has only two USB ports, only two. So if you have two of these devices, you can already use eight VE Direct connected devices with your Serbo GX, for example. And they are all perfectly isolated. I put the link to the converter down under the video, but we want to just have a quick look here at the website. 
Um, the price is $36 for this converter US dollars these are and I paid $7.60 on top of that for shipping this from Italy from Italy to Australia exactly this one comes from Italy and unfortunately at the moment it is out of stock but only since end of September so only for a few days so far I have already signed up with my email here to join the waitlist because I want to buy an, at least another two of them for, for all kind of testing I'm doing here in the off grid garage. It is much safer to use an isolated converter than one of these self-made cables with a cheap non-isolated USB adapter and integrated converters. And here under the specification it says the four ports can work at different voltages and the ground is not common. And also very important, the voltage levels of TX and RX, so receiving and sending information, are the same of your target board. So that means it doesn't matter if you use 5 volts, 3.3 or even 1.8 volt only, the levels for TX and RX are the same then. Yeah, and here are the rest of the specifications. The PC will see four different COM ports, three kilovolt digital galvanic isolators. Each port can work independently from 1.8 to 5 volts, minus 20 to 80 degrees, LEDs, USB-C, and so on. And here, this is one of the self-made do-it-yourself adapters we, we did uh, when we set up the Raspberry Pi. And this adapter cable then connects with a three-port connection to a JST-PH connector. That is this little guy. And we have actually removed the red wire of these four port connectors. As you can see here, we've got only the green, the white and the black one connected to the solar charge controllers because with these non-isolated controllers, converters here, we cannot use the positive cable at the same time because you have 5 volts coming from the USB ports here and while most of the devices have a 5 volt connection as well so we still have equipment like the Victron BMV which works only with 3.3 volt and then you connect 5 volts with 3.3 volts and you will create smoke either your USB converter will go up in smoke or even worse your BMV and you have spent hundreds of dollars for nothing and that's why you cannot use the VCC or the red cable, the pin number 4 here, with non-isolated converters. So only three cables to be connected. Okay, let's plug this back in and disconnect our non-isolated converter. And these are now the JST cables which you can ready buy online on AliExpress, eBay, Amazon, everything. I'll link all this equipment down under the video as well here. And if you want to use one of these isolated converters now, we have to use all four of these cables. This is the main difference between non-isolated converters and isolated converters. So this one is three pin only, no positive, and this one is full four pin, necessary. Because I want to show you what is happening if you connect only three pins to this one. So in here, in this image, here in this image we can see the pin out of the VE Direct connector um, on the Victron devices, solar charge controllers, BMVs, smart shunts and some of the inverters as well. They're all the same, they're all the same, right? So you've got ground, got RX for receiving, TX for sending and 5 volts on the right hand side. And this is exactly the same, let me see, and this is a bit hard to see, but this is exactly the same now as we can see over here. So you've got ground on the left, uh, ground on the left is the black one, the green one is our RX, TX and 5 volts. So this matches exactly what we have here. And here on the back side of the uh, converter we've got the four ports labeled as well, positive, negative, RX and TX. So we start, we start with a negative, so black is our negative and then we have RX and normally you would connect the RX to the RX of the converter but in this case it needs to be crossed because this here is the view from the MPPT charge controller so receiving here is sending on this board so our green RX cable goes to the TX port of the converter and the same with the white TX cable, which is our sending, goes to the receiving port of the converter. 
there you go ground rxtx and for for now we leave the red cable away so this would be the same connection as we have in the as we have in the non isolated converters as well and the only thing we now need is a usb c cable which connects to our board and the other side connects to our test raspi and we should see a blue light coming on on the converter there it is it's a bit hard to see there you can see it now and there's no activity see there's nothing and this is because of the isolated chip we have here once the left side is connected to our usb cable to the raspberry pi and gets power from there the other side is connected to our cable and solar charge controller here at the moment and we have ground tx and rx but there's no power connection to supply the other side of the chip because remember it's an isolated chip there's no electrical connection in this chip from one side to the other one so and this is exactly why you need the other cable and supply power to the other side of your chip otherwise only one side of the chip gets power and the other one doesn't so it cannot work so and now we want to plug in this one here as well to connect five volts and we see the red led comes on straight away we have communication established yeah there's the smart solar charger 150 35 this is exactly what we have installed right now and it's already there as you have seen i have not installed any drivers for this device it is plug and play with the raspberry pi and venus os so this four port isolated usb uart adapter will just work by plugging it into the raspberry pi it it installs the drivers automatically so just in case you're curious the converter shows up in the raspberry pi as a signal integrated products so it is a true plug and play solution we have here and now you can see all the settings of the solar charge controller in your venus os and we can also see the solar charge controller popping up in the victron vim already so this is all working as well and we have a look at the victron connect app if we can remotely connect to the solar charge controller through the isolated converter uh, we go to devices and there it is and we can actually remotely connect to the solar charge controller as well so this is all nice and working and you can see the red and green led flashing here on the converter because we are now sending um, data to the solar charge controller as well as receiving usually only the red one is flashing because the solar charge controller streams its data back to the raspi but now connecting to it we can fully control the solar charge controller and and we are, we are safe you know we are isolated we are safe and <laughs> we are using only one usb port on the raspberry pi so in theory you can put four of these controllers in here can connect up to 16 devices directly with these isolated adapters converters it's pretty good and with most of the good things here on the channel um, this idea is not for me one of my viewers mick from australia here has contacted me way weeks months months ago and sent me the link to this converter and i want to thank mick for all his help and he also said andy you are using all these non-isolated cables and converters and cheap do-it-yourself stuff you spend thousands of dollars on batteries and solar charge controllers but now you are saving a couple of dollars and use these cheap do-it-yourself cables you shouldn't do that <laughs> and potentially he's right so i ordered one of these converters and i had it sitting here on the workbench for like three or four months now but tonight is the night yeah guys and if you want to send me an email with links to such useful devices here for the off-grid garage and for everyone else to share please don't 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 send me any emails please don't please don't good thing is i have received only two today so far so it's getting a little bit down which is great yeah guys i think so far this video from today i just wanted to show you a mix discovery on the internet a four port usb isolated usb to uart controller which directly connects to your Victron gear via VE direct cable. 
Uh, I linked the cable, the, the little plug here, the cable and the converter down under the video as well as on my website. In case you're interested, at the moment sold out, but hopefully they get them back very quickly because I have two on back order of these and I will replace all my self-crimped, non-isolated adapter cables with um, these ones. And I think for the price of like 41 42 dollars for one of these adapters including shipping this is still cheaper than buying one of the original victron usb to ve direct adapters and i can connect four different devices here with different voltage levels so it doesn't matter if you connect your inverter a solar charge controller and your bmv to one of these converters it will just work because we are isolated and there's no ground loop anymore, there's no feedback, there's no spikes, there's no searches on the cables, nothing. Safe way to connect everything. Okay, so far the advertising for today, guys. <laughs> now, I think it is a very useful little device. It's plug and play, very easy to set up. You don't need to do any configuration on the Raspberry Pi or probably in the servo as well. It just plugs in and it works. Fantastic. Again, Mick, thank you very much for your email with your great suggestion. It is a fantastic device. It works straight out of the box. Very good finding. Okay, guys, so far this video from tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all your amazing support here on the channel. Thanks for sending less emails. So please leave all your comments under the videos if possible. That helps me out a lot and I have more time to do videos here in the off grid garage. And until the next video, guys, when we do um, something a bit more adventurous than today. Uh, yeah, probably tomorrow. Tomorrow is a good day for that. Um, you stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again for watching. See you then, bye bye. Yeah, it is flashing. Nice one.